Hello, I'm Joshua Montgomery, the CEO of Minecraft AI, and today I'm here to tell you about the technology that will drive the next decade of innovation, artificial intelligence. Self-driving cars, automated financial planning, both of these technologies are near. And one of the key technologies driving our AI future is natural language processing. The ability for computer systems to understand human language and respond using the most intuitive form of communication, speech. Natural language processing will change the way that humans interact with machines. From call centers to restaurants to elder care, the ability of machines to understand human language and respond naturally will fundamentally change the technology landscape. And there's an entire community of developers and innovators out there that are seeking access to this technology so that they can create new products. But so far, it's remained the purview of a few large companies. Apple's Siri, Microsoft Cortana, Amazon Alexa. The technology is walled off, proprietary, and secretive. Not anymore. Meet Microsoft, the world's first open source AI, artificial intelligence platform. Microsoft is truly an AI for everyone. Minecraft allows users to speak to their technology naturally. Our, Minecraft is an artificial intelligence platform that brings natural language processing to the world of open source for the first time. That means that the innovators that are behind innovative technologies like Wikipedia, WordPress, and yes, Linux, will finally have access to this groundbreaking technology. Minecraft is the open source community's answer to Siri and Amazon Alexa. Minecraft allows users to speak to their technology naturally and receive a natural response. We started the project by developing a wireless speaker with a high quality microphone. The speaker is a reference device that gives our developer community a foundation from which to innovate. To make the device relatable and set a positive tone, we based it on Wally, Eva, ET, and Big Hero Six. <laughs> we also wanted to encourage our community to hack, explore, and extend the technology, so we based it on Raspberry Pi and Arduino, two very popular prototyping technologies. But Minecraft AI Inc. is not a device maker. In fact, we've open sourced our hardware schematics and are encouraging other people to adopt our technology. Minecraft is a software platform that allows developers to add natural language processing to anything. And that's why our opportunity is huge. Minecraft is open, and so developers can include it in anything from a microwave to an automobile. A Minecraft-enabled car would allow you to say, what's the tire pressure in the front right tire, and receive a natural response, 24 PSI. It'll run on all major operating systems, which means it'll be available for nearly all of the 36 billion devices that will be connected to the internet by 2020. As the first open source AI platform, we are the leader in the open source space. And since open source software underpins everything from your fitness tracker to your mobile phone, we're positioned to be the natural language processing platform of choice globally. Our advantage is that any software developer can download and install our software free of charge. This broadens the mouth of our sales funnel and reduces risk for our paying customers. They know that they're always going to have access to the underlying source code, and because Microsoft AI Inc. is here to help, they'll have access to paid support. Of course, supporting Minecraft is going to take a great team, and that's where we shine. We've got a fantastic open source community manager, a CTO from both Gene Systems and Rhythm, machine learning expertise, and leadership with both military and entrepreneurial experience. And that's why we've got so much traction. We took this idea to Kickstarter a year ago and raised more than $175,000. Our success brought with it talented developers like Sean Fitzgerald. Sean was one of the first technical hires at Siri, and he was the second engineer on the Amazon Echo project. We became the first Kansas company to get into a Techstars program and began shipping developer kits on April 2nd. We now entered into talks with wood chip companies like GE, Jaguar, RGA, and Walmart. And in May, we reached an agreement with Canonical LTD that will put us on more than 40 million devices in the next 12 months. We're now positioned to be the world leader in this important technology category. Using Minecraft technology, innovators and creators in the field of artificial intelligence will be able to create products that communicate naturally in the same way that I am speaking to you. Among these products will be a handful that create value above and beyond what exists today, so much so that not only will people be willing to pay for them, they will change the way we use technology in profound ways. Many of you work in healthcare, transportation, telecommunications, finance. Ask yourself, if your technology could understand human speech and respond naturally, what would you build? 
So now I've got a little demonstration of the technology. This is actually the first time we have uh, demoed this in, in public, so we will see exactly how that goes. <laughs> uh, to kind of put things in perspective, uh, our friends at Amazon in Seattle started their project in 2011, uh, spent four years uh, building it, and uh, have a team of more than a thousand engineers working on the project today. Uh, we've built what we've built in uh, 16 months with less than $600,000. So uh, that's the power of, of open source communities. So we will see if this thing moves up and uh, give it a try. Uh, I know that this is organized in both a presentation format and a question and answer format, so now that I'm done with my presentation, I thought I would ask some questions, but I figured that we'd ask this guy instead of uh, asking the, the folks here. So, uh, we'll start with some easy questions. Uh, hey, Micra, how's the weather in Chicago? Oh, and I do want to put... So, uh, we also gave it access to real-time financial data. So, <coughs> hey, Mycroft, what's the current stock price of Walmart? So, it reaches out to the uh, online API. The simple WMT, the current price of Walmart stocks is dollars per share. Uh, one of the things we found when we started playing with the technology is that children really like it, so we figured we would give it some tools to help kids with their homework. Uh, hey, Micro, spell hippopotamus. H I P P O P O T A M U S. Of course, the other technologies, the proprietary technologies in this field, are able to answer questions with simple information, so we gave it that capability as well. Uh, hey, Mycroft, what is the date that Germany invaded Poland? In this case, it asks the question of the answer engine for that, for that answer and brings it back for us. The date that Germany invaded Poland is September 1st, 1939. Of course, if you're building an artificial intelligence, you want to give it a sense of self, and so it's programmed to answer questions about itself. Hey, Mycroft. Who made you? The wonderful Minecraft AI community and team. <laughs> and we wanted to be able to give it the ability to go a little bit deeper into information, so we plugged it into Wikipedia. Uh, hey, Minecraft, tell me about Robert Heinlein. Okay, I am looking for Robert Heinlein. Robert Anson Heinlein was an American science fiction writer, often called the Dean of Science Fiction Writers. His controversial works continue to have an influential effect on the genre. And then finally, it is a wireless speaker, so we figured we'd give it the ability to play music. So, hey, Mike, play Pandora. Now, one of the reasons we made this anthropomorphic was so that it could enjoy the music, and so in the future, we'll see it uh, create uh, animations that make it look like it's enjoying the, the music that it's playing. So, we'll make it do the little, do the little dance. Um, and so, that's really all I have. I wanted to thank all of you for your time, and uh, thank you. And uh, that's pretty much all I have. Uh, thank you. Well ahead of the game with uh, with your connections. What is it that you need from the community? What do you need uh, from us? The community here. Yeah. Uh, we're certainly interested in people within the open source community taking time and contributing new skills and abilities. Uh, our approach to AI is uh, concatenative, but it's actually based on an idea that Robert and I had. Um, the, the idea being that artificial intelligence is useful because it's an amalgamation of skills. And so uh, we have uh, actually 650 developers in our international community. We're certainly looking for more people to, to develop. And then we are looking for paid partnerships with bigger, uh, bigger partners who are interested in deploying voice. And 
don't want to send all of their proprietary information and customer interactions through Amazon because I will tell you something, if you are in business, Amazon is out to compete with you and it matters not what business you are in. If you're launching rockets, they're there, they are working on a self-driving car in Seattle. They are willing to sell you paper towels and at the same time they will sell you web services. So if you think that you are protected from Amazon, you are not. Uh, companies that are interested in deploying voice technologies within their, their products, uh, really, um, we'd love to work with them and uh, Josh, I know there's a ton of more questions. It's a great presentation. Unfortunately, I have time to be able to sit around the line. Yes, sir. So, thanks for coming by. Thank you very much.